Hi guys, welcome back to lunch. Literally today I have some cauliflower wings, barbecue cauliflower wings. Actually, I'm just gonna call them cauliflower bites because I'm sure one person is gonna be like, those are not wings, which I'm aware. Like I'm not vegetarian, I'm not vegan or anything, but I really like these. And yeah, I made them in the air fryer. And I know you, you guys have been asking me to like do like cooking and then eating soon, I promise. Mm. I actually really love cauliflower. Anything that has like a little bit of crunch to it is my fave. But today I wanted to talk about kind of like the reality of stripping or what to expect on your first night or for your audition. And what made me like want to talk about this is I saw a TikTok last night. Um, this girl is basically like complaining and sharing her story about what happened. I guess I shouldn't say complaining. She was just shocked and I guess a little bit traumatized, which I do feel bad for her because obviously like you don't know these things until you get there. Well, I just really wanted to talk about it. Especially because, I mean, I say this all the time, but like stripping is very glamorized right now. Not just with like people like, you know, me and other strippers on YouTube, like sharing our lives, but even celebrities that like want to dress like strippers or clothing brands like selling stripper attire as like streetwear, like to wear out to the club. You know what I mean? Like everyone wants to look and be a stripper until it actually comes down to being a stripper. So what I mean by that, so, and I'm not going to say like the girl's name or whatever, like truthfully, like this is just a perfect example of like what we share on the internet. It's just, it's not everything that goes on and I, it, I mean, it could be a dangerous, scary place. Okay. Obviously. So you don't just go in there and like make a quick thousand dollars and then leave. Like there's a lot that happens in between so she goes in for an audition and she said that the house mom was rude and then the house mom told her to get like undressed and then you know into like lingerie i guess and that she would go on stage for three songs for her audition and then on the second song she has to be topless and so The girl auditioning was shocked because it's her first time dancing ever. So not only is she half naked for the first time, like in front of an audience, but now she has to take her top off. And she was just like, I mean, I guess she just wasn't expecting it, but she's like, whatever. So yes, like a requirement is taking off your clothing whenever you are on stage or whenever you're giving a lap dance. Um, the only club that I know of personally, that's like a, a pasty club, like where you wear pasty, like where you basically don't get naked is V live. That's the only place that I know of anyway. Um, and some clubs that are nude, like some clubs are topless. Some clubs are all nude. Some clubs will require, will require you to get completely naked while you're on stage. I've worked at two nude clubs that require you to be completely nude by your second song and if you're not naked by your second song they've literally they've literally like flashed their flashlights on me and they're like basically telling me like hey these are the rules like it's it was terrifying because whenever that happened to me i was still new and i was like oh my god so the club I, the club i work at now it is all nude but it's an option you don't have to it's not like you have to take everything off you do have to take your top off but Everything else can stay if you want it to. So, it does depend on where you work. Every club is different. And then the first thing she said was like the house mom was rude, I guess. Yeah, some house moms have been rude to me as well. Not at the club that I work at, but I've gone to clubs where the house moms were not friendly and they were so weird and they were rude and they were just like unfriendly. Some house moms didn't even bring like anything for you to use. Like 
I just didn't even know what their purpose was of them being there, honestly, because the club that I work at, the house mom brings everything that you need, hair straightener, deodorant, tampons, outfits, shoes that you can buy, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like food. She literally cooks and prepares food for all of the dancers. You could still buy food if you want, but she also has food for you there, like during, before, or after your shift, whatever. Um, some house moms do suck. Um, and she said, once that was over, once her like three songs on stage were over, she had went to the VIP area because I guess one of the regulars wanted to get a dance from her. And so she goes, I guess, I don't know where she is, where she's located or what, but she said that she goes like back to the VIP area. And she said that she didn't know that you could be completely nude back there. She said it in other terms, but she was like, I didn't know you could be completely naked back there showing everything. Like, yes, girl. And if you didn't know that, you should definitely do your research on the type of club that you're working at or going to audition at because some clubs are all nude or just only topless. You know what I mean? And then she said that the customer was like touching all over her, trying to kiss her and lick her and just being gross. One, yes, that is disgusting. Two, yes, that does happen. Three, you can tell them no. You definitely want to have like your boundaries set. That way you know what you will and will not put up with. Also, she said that she felt gross. Like whenever she left, I guess within the time that she was there, she made like $70. And so she said that she was like, money's money, but like I feel gross or whatever. And yeah, like, yeah, you're probably going to feel disgusting like your first few nights or even still now sometimes. Well, I don't know. It just depends. Like, okay, so if you don't have boundaries, you might feel disgusting whenever you leave work. Like, I don't care how much money you offer me. If you want me to do something that I don't want to do, I will say no and I will just walk away from that because like that energy exchange of whatever amount of money that you are offering me, like I don't want to feel gross I don't feel I don't feel good about you know like that's just like no like not putting up with it there are customers that go to the strip club that will pay you and be nice to you and like not be total disgusting pieces of trash you know what I mean well you definitely have to be like confident and on guard at all times because you're gonna have to tell customers no constantly. Or even when you do tell them no, they still try to do something and you say no again. And they're like, why not? I wanna do that. And it's like, they think that because they paid a cover fee to the strip club and they're paying you for this dance, they think that you are consenting to everything. I'm being so serious. Like some customers literally think that way. And so you have to be confident when you say, no, these are my rules, these are my boundaries. Like we're not doing that. You can say it however which way you want, but even after saying no, like you just have to like be aware at all times if they try to just put their hands somewhere where they're, it's not supposed to be. Oh. Mm. That was a big bite. Mm. There was something else I forgot. But I do feel bad for this girl because, I mean, when I first started, I didn't know anything. How was I supposed to know, like, any of these things? You know what I mean? Back then, when I first started, you know, it wasn't really glam. It wasn't glamorized. It was very frowned upon, actually. So there was no one on YouTube giving tips on what to expect. Also, now that I'm saying tips, there is a way to kind of, there are like little things that you could do to kind of like prevent guys from trying to like kiss on you. And this sounds very disgusting and very shocking and whatever, but it's true. And like I said, everyone wants to be a stripper until it's time to be a stripper. So 
one way to kind of like stop guys from kissing on you is wearing really big earrings like big hoop earrings is what works for me because they're kind of like with your shoulders and your neck like they're kind of like fly swatters like guys will try to like kiss you and the hoop earring will kind of just get in the way and yeah i mean it's just it's just something that kind of prevents it like it really works seriously it sounds weird and bizarre but i'm being serious now when it comes to clientele Yes, clientele is going to be different at every club, but that doesn't mean just because you're in a upscale gentleman's club does not mean that the guys, the customers in there are not going to still try to do something because no matter where you are, the customers are still, there's going to at least be one and I'm being very modest there. There's probably going to be like 20 in a night that are still trying to be gross and disgusting and disrespect, disrespect you and throw consent completely out the window so this is just like the ugly truth of like yeah and that's not even the half of it like there could be shady employees managers pimps that go into the club like there's just so many things that well I wasn't aware of because I just didn't know about anything in this industry you know hmm This is so good. Cauliflower is just always good. I don't know, but I would just remember, like, if you are thinking about auditioning or if you are new, this sounds, like, self-explanatory or, like, common sense, but you can say no. You can say no. You could walk away from the customer. If he asks you to do something, you could literally just say no. Or, whatever. like, you are in control, okay? You can say no. There will be another customer that will pay you that won't be as bad or that won't ask you to put up with something that you don't want to put up with. You know what I mean? Um, and do keep in mind, like, the customers will be degrading. They will be rude. They will probably be intoxicated or worse. So, yeah, I mean, it's just a lot to put up with. Hmm. That was a big bite. I don't want this video to come off like negative or discourage you. Um, it's just simply the ugly truth. And like this girl that posted this TikTok, like I really did feel bad for her because she went in there completely like blind, like not knowing it seems like anything. Um, I mean, and that's expected. Like, I mean, why would, why would you know about these type of things until you experience it, you know? No matter how much you research it or watch videos on the internet about stripping, like it is truly a different experience than like from what you just hear about or learn about, you know? So, like I said, not all customers are bad. I'm just saying like you, you do wanna prepare yourself for the bad ones because sometimes, some nights, there's gonna be more bad customers or just ridiculous, too much extra customers than there is nice customers like i probably get like one or two normal nice customers a night and then the rest are just like ugh. like some customers smell so some customers are just flat out trash like just human beings you know what i mean like no matter what type of club you are working at no matter what type of clientele goes into that place some actually a lot of customers are narcissists like and they just they're more so there for like an ego boost. I don't know. I don't know. But like I said, I don't want to discourage you or make this seem like it's a negative video. It's just the ugly truth. Mm. Whoops. I forgot to ask you guys what you guys are eating. I always forget. Also, comment down below and give me, like, ideas and topics to talk about because sometimes I really can't think of any. So, I would appreciate it. <sighs> it's always the last two bites where I'm like, I can't do it. Whatever, I'm just going to end this here. 
thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you have any questions let me know if you have any like ideas or topics to talk about um yeah and i hope everyone is having a great week and i'll see you in my next video bye